Namaste to you. We continue uh, getting medical lessons, not only for the public, but also for the Aish doctors and also for the allopathic doctors dealing in the field of oncology. From uh, the most experienced oncologist in India, Dr. C.P. Matthew Sir, uh, who is sharing his 60 years of experience, 60, to us. And uh, today's topic is about uh, every tragic situation, somebody, a distant relative of him, uh, I mean, it's it's kind of a bit tragic because it was, or rather it is, a condition of uh, tongue cancer and how things just went out of uh, proportion and how it should not have been such escalated and that was definitely an avoidable suffering situation. But uh, I would just make sure that the narration is made by Sir himself directly and what went wrong and what could have been done right. So if any one of your friends or relatives are watching this, uh, who are in cancer tongue situation, I think this video will profit you. And it's also, of course, a caution message for doctors also. The details of the case, um, I would be definitely making sure as a screenshot available to you. And after that, my portion is of narration is over. You will hear uh, Sir's uh, details of what he thinks is uh, necessary from the point of view of uh, the correct intervention. And I will hand over the uh, narration to him now. Now, this patient is a lady of uh, about 70 years old. She had a growth on the tongue, right margin, I, am, I think. And she had a wide excision of the tumor. Wide excision. You see, tongue is such an important organ. Any, any surgery on the tongue is it is uh, it is ridiculous because tongue will go into ankyloglossia tongue is important for speech important for swallowing and many things so tongue is a very very vascular and lymphatic uh, uh, profuse lymphatics in the tongue any surgical intervention on the tongue will lead to extensive metastasis that is what has happened in this case after, uh, after about one year, she had radiation after that. And uh, I, I, am, I, am, I hate this uh, surgery on the tongue. I have treated more than 10,000 patients of oral cancer, out of which nearly 3,000 were tongue cases, and all were having brachytherapy, not surgery, brachytherapy, that is radium implantation. And I have been doing myself all these cases. And we had almost 100% excellent result, cure, excellent result, 100% in tongue. Patient will have absolute normal tongue, almost normal tongue after treatment. So any surgery on the tongue is, I hate to look at this patient. And this particular patient now has extensive metastasis in the lymphatics as well as in the region, oral cavity itself. And they did it without any dental extraction. I have never done a single case of brachytherapy without total dental extraction of the teeth. Because that is the first, first condition, total dental extraction. Because any, if you leave any teeth in the oral cavity, definitely you will get recurrence. That is my experience. So I have made it a rule to have total dental extraction prior to the treatment. And, at that, and the, the result of the treatment is after treatment, after brachytherapy, it is excellent healing and uh, you, the patient gets a you know, beautiful tongue after treatment. That is my experience. I have realized uh, in all the consultations I was with Sir in, in terms of uh, the tongue uh, cancer, even the oral cancers of various nature, he would not uh, go to uh, full flush therapy unless uh, the person has come back from total dental extraction. Very, very important. It may sound a bit uh, difficult to relate to, but as sir repeatedly tells that the chances of contamination of oral hygiene being so high, and uh, it's always a risk uh, that there is a constant source of infection and a constant source of uh, escalation, and this uh, can be quite a bit prevented. Uh, and of course, people do maintain dentures and as and when required when the dental extraction is fully done. And as sir was telling also, uh, if the patient doesn't oblige uh, to this uh, advice to them of the dental extraction, he simply prefers not to treat. 
and this is what the golden rule is